Well, welcome to another video. I'll try to show you guys one of my favorite pets. This is a Styx insect species by the name Uricanta calcarata. I hope I pronounced that right. And this is a female. She just got done laying an egg, so uh, she's a bit dirty. She uses that little spike on her rear end to dig holes to lay her eggs in. Uh, these are one of my favorite species because, um, well, they look very pretty and they have a very uh, nice character. Uh, oh, let me get her, grab her. Next to being uh, quite docile once you handle them a bit. They're also very sturdy and uh, they're very active. They crawl around a lot during the night and the evenings. And uh, if you disturb them during the day, they'll crawl around a lot as well, as you can see. It's uh, quite difficult to keep them in the camera frame. You can see the female has a huge rear end. That's because she's been uh, adult for quite a few months and it's filled with eggs. So, well, they're very easy to keep. They eat a lot of different plants. They even eat the plastic I used to seal the containers off with. I may have to change for away from plastic because I don't want them getting blockades or something in their intestines but uh, yeah they uh, they have a very big appetite so they're known to eat even wallpaper and you can see that they have a lot of spikes on their legs and when they feel threatened they'll use these spikes on their legs to pinch whatever's threatening them with but uh, Mine tend to not do that too much because I handle them a lot so they get used to it and then they won't feel threatened anymore. I got a male over here as well. The males are usually a bit more aggressive but this one uh, here is very docile. He doesn't uh, do any aggressive behavior. You can see the males are a bit smaller, they don't have a spike on the rear end and uh, they have a lot bigger uh, spines on their uh, rear legs. They do tend to like show aggressive behavior towards each other a little bit. Like uh, they're like fighting over who gets the mate. And it's very fun to watch at night. They'll even uh, bump their uh, their rear ends onto the to the bark of the in the cage. I got some tree bark in the cage over there. And they'll um, they'll they'll thump it, sort of like telling each other to bugger off, and uh, they'll chase each other throughout the cage. My cage is probably a little bit too small for six animals, but they seem to be doing okay. Oh, the female just crawled on the camera. Let me get her off. Oh, I'm not sure what else to tell you about them. I feed them bramble and cherry roll laurel, which are both available in the winter. And I really enjoy having these as pets. They're very easy. They're not a challenging animal. I used to have them as a child, and I still have them right now. So, Iricanta calcarata, also known as spiny stick insect, I believe. A bit of a silly name because a lot of inse stick insects are spiny, but I guess uh, Latin names are not for everybody. Sorry if the camera is a bit fuzzy, it's just because the lighting is strange out here. And my camera is not that good at close-ups. So I'll put them back in the cages. I'll show the cage a bit more closer and... Uh, I think I have a video clip of her laying an egg as well. And uh, that's all I have to say. Hope someone likes it. And uh, a good day. Uh, bye bye. Oh. Well, 
I just noticed that one of the females is laying an egg. She was digging a little bit with her rear end a moment ago. I think uh, the digging is done. You can see she uses the rear end spike, poke it into the ground, and then uh, dig a little hole with it. Oh, there goes the egg. I don't know if the camera can see it. Well, oh, right after I cut the camera, Mel decided he was hungry and started munching on a leaf. I always really like the way stick insects eat the leaves. They sort of like eat it the other way from what we do.